Carbon monoxide is a little bit different, but we're going to follow again the exact same rules that we've been doing the whole time. I add up my carbon and I add up my oxygen, so carbon is right over here. I get four electrons from that, and my oxygen right here, we've dealt with it several times, I get six electrons from that. I add them up, I get ten electrons to build this whole thing. Now, obviously nothing's at the center, they're just bonded together. When I put that bond in, I've used up two. I can use ten. So I've got two there. Uh, let's start putting some around here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got a problem because I ran out of electrons. And carbon is not happy. Now my oxygen has eight around it, so it's perfectly fine. When I run into this situation and I can't add more electrons, I know that there has to be multiple bonds. So let's start seeing what we can do. What if we ask this oxygen to share those? So now if we total up how many carbon has around it, it's got one, two, four, six. Each of those bars is worth two. So carbon now has six, and oxygen has two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oxygen's happy. Let me fix the bottom of this oxygen. But the carbon's not happy. So we can't add more electrons. It must mean that we need another multiple bond. So what if oxygen was to share these ones down here? Let's see how carbon is now. Carbon's got two, four, six, seven, eight. And oxygen has two, four, six, seven, eight. Now they're both happy. Let me draw this a little more cleanly so you can see what this should look like triple bond. 